Hey everyone, this is Tom from Standard Paddleboard World and today I am going to be reviewing the iRocket Nautical 10.6. I gave this board a total score of 8.6 out of 10 on my blog and let me tell you why. The iRocket Nautical 10.6 is an inflatable subboard that is great for beginners. It measures 10 feet long, 32 inches wide and 6 inches thick. It weighs about 20 pounds and can load up to 240 pounds. It has a total of 17 D-rings, 6 on the nose and tail, 4 D-rings for a kayak seat attachment or other additional accessories and 1 D-ring for the leash. If you prefer your bag to have wheels, the premium travel backpack can be converted to a roller tray option, which is available for purchase. Now let me see what's inside the box. When you purchase the iRocket Nautical 10.6, it comes with a three-piece fiberglass adjustable sub treble pedal, a single chamber as well as a dual action hand pump. It also has a 10 inch coiled leash, a three detachable flip lock fins and a large sander fin, a repair kit with patches and a hand branch tool and a lightweight sub backpack that is nice and compact. Now let's talk about this board's pros and cons. The first pro is that the pedalboard is budget friendly. The iRocket Nautical 106 pedalboard is a great buy because it's very inexpensive without sacrificing performance or quality. Pro number two, it has many color schemes to choose from. The iRocket Nautical pedalboard comes in a variety of colors, including sky blue, teal, blue and gray. The third pro is that the pedalboard is lightweight, making it convenient to transport. If you plan to travel a lot, you won't have to worry about transporting it because it's light and easy to carry. And the last pro is that the pump has a deflate function which is a big plus in my opinion. This feature will make it much easier for you to roll the pedalboard and keep it compact in your back. For the cons, the first would probably be that it would be much better if they added more action mounts so that the other accessories could be attached to. There's only one action mount on the iRocket Nautical pedalboard, however, because it has D-rings you can easily attach two, you can buy extra mounts to attach additional accessories if desired. And the last con is that I noticed that the maximum weight capacity has been reduced in comparison to the previous version. It would be preferable if the Nautical 106 had the same maximum weight capacity as its previous version. Nonetheless, this pedalboard is fantastic and can be enjoyed by a group of people. Check out our website standuppedalboardworld.com for our full pros and cons and review of this board. As I mentioned, this board is perfect for beginners without any sub experience. The iRocket Nautical 106 is an all-round versatile pedalboard that's ideal for beginners. It's also suitable for children and pets. This board is intended for those looking for a lightweight, budget-friendly option. It has above average maneuverability, stability and speed. So, to conclude this video, here's my complete rating for the iRocket Nautical 106 board to help you decide if this is the right fit for you. For the board stability, 8 out of 10. For the supplied accessories, 7 out of 10. 
For overall performance, 9 out of 10. For the price versus quality, 10 out of 10. And lastly, for the board's design, 9 out of 10. So, there you have it folks. After testing the product, I can say that I'm impressed. In my opinion, any adventurous peddler, whether a beginner or a pro, would enjoy taking this pedal board. It's durable and can be used in any type of water condition. The quality and price of the iRock and Nautical 106 will not disappoint you. You can check out the link below if you want to get an iRock and Nautical yourself. And for more reviews like this, check out my website, subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye bye.